One of the worst of the new dangers is ecological. When Winston Churchill gave his speech here, most people on this planet did not even suspect a mortal threat from that direction. But today, global climatic shifts, the greenhouse effect, the ozone hole, acid rain, contamination of the atmosphere, soil, and water by industrial and household waste, the destruction of the forests, etc., all threaten the stability of the planet. Despite all the efforts being made to prevent ecological catastrophe, the destruction of nature is intensifying. And the effects of our poisoning of the spiritual sphere, drug addiction, alcoholism, terrorism, crime, become further ecological threats. All of these together heighten the probability of social, national, and international conflicts. Not having understood the transitional character of the present international system, with all its inherent contradictions and conflicts, politicians again risk committing errors which would have the most painful consequences for all. The prospect of catastrophic climatic changes, more frequent droughts, floods, hunger, epidemics, national ethnic conflicts, and other similar catastrophes compels governments to adopt a world perspective and seek generally applicable solutions. The, pers the only alternative to this would be an intensification of conflicts throughout the world, instability of political systems, civil wars, in other words, ultimately, a threat to world peace. This means that we need a different understanding of problems of international security, national interest, and of the tasks which must be solved to guarantee the survival of humanity.